cool. Oh, she's got a little funk in her dance, you know what I mean? Hey, what's good everybody? Man, this is your boy Tic Tac Kickback from the way back. Um, looking forward to giving you some reactions today. Um, these are all subscriber and just kind of viewer uh, requests. So you guys, this is a top priority for me, man. I'm really enjoying it. I am having a lot of fun doing these videos and I'm having even more fun reading everybody's comments um, and suggestions. I'm learning a lot from you guys. You know, man, I, I'll tell you right now, I'm not perfect. I, I'm listening to this stuff in real time. I'm just reacting and giving you uh, the real raw stuff um, of where I'm coming from, man. I misspeak all the time. I hear things that aren't there. Um, so, you know, I love hearing you guys in the comments just kind of bust me a little bit like, yo, dude, that ain't that way at all. So, um, uh, I'm having fun with that. I really, I really enjoy the engagement. Um, anyway, today is a request. We've got Settle Down by Kimbra, and this comes to us from Mark Allen Wills. Man, Mark, thank you, bro. I want to just thank you for, for recommending this. Uh, really looking forward to it. Haven't heard Kimbra before, um, so we'll, we'll have to check that out. And just from what I can tell, it looks like this song was released in July 2010. So it's a throwback, man. But brand new to me. But um, you guys have probably been on this stuff for a long time. So anyway, please click like. Please smash subscribe. Please comment below. Let me know what you guys are thinking, man. Love you guys. I love hearing from you. But we're going to get into this right now. Kimbra, settle down. Here we go. Is the sweetheart you married the husband you expected him to be? Oh, that's cool. I want to settle down. I want to settle down. Won't you settle down? Oh, this is cool. Settle down. We can settle at a table. A table for two. Won't you wine and dine with me? Settle down. I want to raise a child. I want to raise a child. Won't you raise a child with me? Raise a child. We'll call her Nebraska. Nebraska Jones. She'll have your nose. The ass of your nose. Cool. Oh, she's got a little funk in her dance, you know what I mean? I wanna settle down. I like Kimbra. Settle down. Won't you settle down with me? Settle down. Oh, she's got some moves, man. Great volume change right there. Awesome. Baby, there's no need to Look at her eyes, man. She feels it. She wants a man. She wants this life. You can see it right in her eyes. Dancing, man. Hey, let's go. I love it. Oh, the dolls are in flames now.
so good. So good. Kimbra, settle down. Wow, that was amazing. That was amazing. Okay, so a, a lot of things were going in my head during that video. Um, first, it felt in a great way, but it felt like it was a little bit foreign, um, at least to the Americans out there, because I got to speak in an international sense. Um, we got a lot of people from a, around the globe, y'all, uh, watching this stuff. So I just see that stuff on YouTube analytics, and I just don't want to assume everybody's American. You know what I mean? Um, about half the people that watch this stuff are American, which makes half of it around the world. So I don't want to just say uh, things in the first person that might not necessarily pertain to you. But so in my point of view, I'm watching this stuff and I'm like, you know, she's coming from a different place. The visuals are a little bit different. Where's this girl from? From New Zealand, you know, kind of like our girl, uh, Lord. Um, and not that I saw a lot of similarities in there, but you know, you put Lord and Kimber next to each other and you might go, okay, okay. I can kind of see that that they're kind of coming from, you know, a similar place. They're doing their own things, but a, a little bit of similarity there. Anyway, so I want to say that, you know, New Zealand, um, did it say where she was exactly? Hamil Hamilton, Hamilton, New Zealand. Um, so right on, man. Uh, Kimbra, Hamilton. Um, all right, second thing that I wanted to bring up in this stuff, and I'm trying to get through it because there was a lot of things that I wanted to talk about. Um, was the way that she layered her sounds. You can kind of hear her doing the mbops, mbops to start the, start the sound and then her little claps. So you could hear how she was building her own sound and even just the, the different layers of vocals that she put on that stuff. Um, beautiful beautiful i really love that stuff uh there's been some great musicians before her that have kind of built that stuff acapella or even acapella groups that kind of do that um all but now with music production and the way that you can have one person do multiple tracks and layer that together uh she, very talented very very talented girl so i love that i loved her dynamics i loved how she was able to kind of speak things through i want to settle down i want to have this and i want to do that um and then also then built it up to a bigger crescendo where she was actually singing things out so i thought that that was really cool um yeah so i wanted to speak to kind of the acapella and the layering and then the next thing I thought was that video was super, super interesting. You know, one perspective was that even as a little girl, uh, she's just thinking about settling down and having babies and raising kids. Um, you kind of saw the kids like making cookie dough and reading cookbooks and presenting a meal and uh, doing, doing some kind of domestic stuff. So you could tell that this girl um, has put a great deal of thought into to being um, a mom and a wife and uh, and settling down, right? Like the, like the song says, settle down, um, which usually just means marriage and kids and stuff like that, actually settling down. So um, that was definitely authentic to the theme of the song. But one thing I thought was super, super interesting at the end, the dolls and the, and the symbolism of those dolls. Um, this is just kind of what I'm picking up from, from seeing it, but it looked like the dolls were kind of representing like, this was me as a little girl back before I, I was thinking about this stuff and, and aging and maturing. These dolls represent an immature version of me. And now as I'm older and I'm, I'm thinking about these things and wanting to have kids and wanting to settle down and, and have a marriage and some of those things, um, these little dolls, this little kid version of me is gone and that's where the fire is burning um, the representation of her youth. That's the way I read into it. That's why I was like, wow, this is really cool. This Just this visual is saying an awful lot um, about psychology and where she's coming from. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think, man. Um, please comment below. Please click like. Please hit subscribe. Tell me, uh, do you like Kimbra? Um, definitely want to thank Mark Allen Wills for the suggestion. I really like Lord. I really, really like Kimbra. Um, are there other Kimbra songs that you guys would recommend? Um, is there anything kind of in this genre that, you, that you'd like me to, to react to in the future too? Let me know, guys. Anyway, until next time, this is Tic Tac Kickback from the way back. Say peace, y'all.